With the permission of my Lord, the Honourable the Chief Justice, I declare that all the Honourable Judges have assembled. May I request my Lord the Honourable the Chief Justice to deliver your Lordship's speech. My esteemed sister and brother judges, Shri D. Srinivas, Learned Advocate General, Shri K. Chidambaram, President AP High Court. Advocates Association, Shri P. Punarao, Deputy Solicitor General, Shri M. Lakshmi Narayana, Public Prosecutor, Shri Sambasiva Pratap, Additional Advocate General, Law Officers, Senior Advocates and Members of the Bar, Members of the Judicial Fraternity, Officers of the Registry, Ladies and Gentlemen. We have assembled to pay homage to Honorable Shri Justice Devendra Gupta, former Chief Justice of the erstwhile High Court of Andhra Pradesh, who breathed his last at the age of 81 at Kurg in Karnataka, where he was on a vacation. Justice Devinder Gupta was born on 4th of April 1943 at Shimla. He graduated in Arts and Law. He was enrolled as an advocate on March 23rd, 1967. He practiced in the district courts at Himachal Pradesh on original and appellate side from 67 to 75. Thereafter, he shifted practice to Himachal Pradesh High Court and joined the office of his father, Shri Lalaram Kishan Gupta, who was a designated senior advocate. Justice Devinder Gupta practiced in Himachal Pradesh High Court at Shimla in uh, almost all branches of law till his elevation as a judge of the Himachal Pradesh High Court on 25th June 1990. Subsequently, he was transferred as a judge of the Delhi High Court with effect from 28th of April 1994. He was acting Chief Justice Delhi High Court on four different occasions. He was sworn in as Chief Justice High Court of Andhra Pradesh on 6th of March 2003 and laid down office on 4th of April 2005. Apart from his interest in law during his college days, Justice Gupta had participated in various sports activities and could be said to be an all-rounder. He was not only adjudged as a best shooter in a shooting competition where he represented the state of Himachal Pradesh, but also was adjudged as the best under officer in the NCC. Apart from this, he was a member of the Freemasonry, which is considered to be one of the world's oldest secular fraternal societies, a worldwide organization based on the principles of fatherhood of God and brotherhood of man. The said society, apart from Justice Gupta, had in the past prominent Indian personalities like Swami Vivekanand, Motilal Nehru, C. Raja Gopalachari, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, Dr. Radha Krishnan, and Fakhruddin Ali Ahmed. Justice Gupta, during his tenure as Chief Justice in the erstwhile High Court of Andhra Pradesh, was instrumental in codifying various instructions in the shape of standing orders of 2004 for guidance of administrative and judicial wings of the High Court. During his tenure, he had delivered several landmark judgments. He was respected by the members of the bar on account of his amiable and affable disposition. Justice Gupta, I am told, enjoyed gardening and traveling. He is survived, survived by three children, Mr. Rajesh Gupta, a lawyer who is practicing in Delhi, Mr. Neeraj Gupta, who is a designated senior advocate practicing in Himachal Pradesh High Court, and daughter, Ms. Deepa, who is a homemaker. His demise is indeed a loss not only to the members of his family, but also to the legal fraternity. It is indeed a void which cannot be filled. His contribution to the development of law shall continue to guide the legal fraternity in future. I, on my behalf and on behalf of my sister and brother judges, convey deepest condolences to the family members of Justice Devinder Gupta. We pray, we pay our respectful homage and pray to Almighty to bestow eternal peace to his soul and give strength to his family members to cope up with the irreparable loss. With the permission of my Lord, the Honorable the Chief Justice, I request the Land Advocate General to speak on behalf of legal fraternity. Honorable Chief Justice Dheera Singh Tagore, Honorable Companion Judges, the Deputy Solicitor General of India, 
the additional advocate general, senior counsels, the law officers, the president, AP High Court Advocates Association, members of legal fraternity. We gather here to mourn the demise of late Justice Devendra Gupta, who has accomplished many good things in life. He worked hard and always followed the path of honesty and made a mark in the lives of thousands of people. Late Justice Devendra Gupta was born in 1943 and enrolled and practiced in various courts of Himachal Pradesh before being elevated as judge of the High Court of Himachal Pradesh in 1990. He went on to become the acting Chief Justice of Delhi and was then promoted as Chief Justice of Andhra Pradesh on 10-3-2003. He retired from service on 4-4-2005, pursuant to which he was an active arbitrator, although short his stint as judge of the uh, Andhra Pradesh High Court left a notable mark. In the passing on of Justice Devendra Gupta, the judiciary has lost an honorable judge who greatly contributed to the jurisprudence of this High Court and served with dedication, humility, efficiency and integrity. We have lost a great legal mind. However, the vitality that late Justice Devendra Gupta brought to our lives will forever resonate. The bereavement is not only to the family but to the legal fraternity as well and the void due to the demise of Sri Justice Devendra Gupta is such that even passage of time cannot fill. I pray Almighty to give all the strength and courage to the family members of Justice Devendra Gupta for tiding over the bereavement. My sympathies extend to the family and we will forever be thankful for his contributions and his legacy continues. May his soul rest in peace. With the permission of my Lord, the Honorable the Chief Justice, I request the Land President of the AP High Court Advocates Association to speak on behalf, on behalf of legal fraternity. My Lord, the Honorable the Chief Justice, the Honorable Judges, Learned Advocate General, Learned Additional Advocate General, Deputy Solicitor General of India, <coughs> Learned Public Prosecutor, Law Officers of the State, Learned Senior Advocates, Colleague and Advocate Friends. We gather here today under the shadow of a profound loss, the passing of Honorable Sri Justice Devendra Gupta, a luminary whose judicial legacy and unwavering commitment to justice have left an individual mark on the legal profession and society at large. Born on April 4, 1943, <coughs> Justice Gupta was a beacon of learning and humility. His academic pursuit began with a Bachelor of Arts degree followed by his LLB. He enrolled as an advocate on 23rd March 1967, embarking on a remarkable journey in the field of law. Justice Gupta's career spanned decades, beginning with his practice in the district courts of Himachal Pradesh on both original and appellate sites and later in the Himachal Pradesh High Court at Shimla. He prof his proficiency in diverse branches of law, civil, criminal, constitutional, taxation and labor was exemplary, reflecting his keen understanding of the complexities of justice. <coughs> Justice Gupta's elevation as a permanent judge of Himachal Pradesh High Court on 25th June 1990 was a testament to his legal acumen. His subsequent transfer to the Delhi High Court in 1994 marked another chapter of, <coughs> chapter of distinction where he served as acting Chief Justice on four occasions. His tenure as the Executive Chairman of the Delhi State Legal Service Authority showcased his <coughs> dedication to making justice accessible to all. Uh, spearheading legal aid movements and organizing low alerts for prompt resolution of cases. On 6th March 2003, Justice Gupta was sworn in as the Chief Justice of Estwell High Court of Andhra Pradesh. During his tenure, he upheld the sanctity of constitution and delivered judgments that, for, that forfeited the rule of law. One of his notable contributions was his emphasis on judicial efficiency particularly through innovative approaches to case management. His efforts laid the foundation for a more streamlined judiciary in Andhra Pradesh. Justice Gupta's decision often carried profound implications. His rulings on matters of constitutional interpretation, labor, right, labor rights, and access to justice demonstrated his commitment to balancing legal, principle, legal principles which, is, which uh, societal welfare. As members of the Andhra Pradesh Bar, we have been inspired by his emphasis on fairness, his intellectual rigor, and his humility in the dispensation of justice. His passing is an irreparable loss to the legal fraternity and to society at large. 
on behalf of the advocates of Andhra Pradesh High Court and the broader legal community, I extend our heartfelt condol condolences to his family. May they find strength in the knowledge that his contribution will continue to guide and inspire generations to come. May his soul rest in peace. With the permission of my Lord, the Honorable the Chief Justice, I request all to observe silence for one minute as a mark of respect to the departed soul. <coughs> With the permission of my Lord, the Honorable the Chief Justice, I request my Lord, the Honorable the Chief Justice, to announce that the court for the court work for the remaining day is suspended. The work shall remain suspended for the rest of the day.